welcome to another Stitches and Scribbles video. Um, today's video was not in my video plans, um, but I decided that this idea is either going to be great or it's not going to work. And either way, <laughs> I figured it'd be good to film it. Um, so here's the situation. I have friends who every year have a party to watch the Oscars. Everybody gets dressed up. It's black tie if you want to, but like people do show up in jeans. Um, we eat food, we play games, we watch the Oscars. It's a great time even if you, like me, um, haven't seen any of the Oscar nominated movies. So that is happening Sunday. Today is Thursday and I have decided that I need to make a shawl for this event in less than four days, which is that three full days from now. So we're going to attempt to do this. The reason why I'm doing this is because I think I'm just wearing a plain black dress to the party, which is fine. It works. Um, but I'm very worried about being cold because it's only supposed to be 30 something degrees on Sunday. So I figured a shawl, none of the shawls that I already have, were going to fit the bill. So we're going to attempt to make one. Um, and see how it goes. I am going to be using this as an opportunity to test one of my own patterns, but that one won't be released for a while, so you'll get kind of a sneak peek. This pattern was originally designed to be a Christmas pattern to use like the multicolored Christmassy yarns, but today we're going to be making it in Hobie Metallico, which is a four weight yarn. It's very shiny, got a little fuzz to it. And this one is kind of in a coppery color. I don't remember the color name because Hobie does not put their color names on the ball band. They just put the numbers. Let me see if I can find what number this is. I might just have to pull this off in order to do this. So Hobie Metallico, as I drop it on the floor. It's 125 yards. I do have seven of these. It is a four weight yarn. And I cannot find the color number, but I, oh, color number four. There it is. Really tiny. Right there. Um, color number four. It is kind of a copper, so that can help you find it. Um, I'm also preparing to be in the car for a couple hours today because we have somewhere we're going that's an hour there and an hour back. So I have my handy stadium bag packed. If you are a knitter or crocheter and don't have one of these, highly recommend it. I definitely bought it just to be able to take knitting and crochet to baseball games. Um, but it's also a great travel bag because you can see everything that's inside and it easily holds several projects. I'm also going to be using a pretty big hook for this, so I'm using my 6.5 millimeter hook. Let's get started and see how this goes.
again, it is the next day. So we are now on Friday, two days away from the Oscars party. And I am on my second to last skein. So I made way more progress than I thought I was going to do in one day. It helped that we had the two hour-ish long drives, but I was also talking during those. So I was kind of crocheting off and on. But then I had a free afternoon, so I ended up sitting and working on it. Most of the afternoon, I also was watching Inventing Anna on Netflix and did not want to stop. So that was probably part of how I got so much done. But I have one full skein and most of another full skein left. So I'm going to keep going to make this a really giant shawl and use most of the last skein, I think, for the trim. And I'm planning on doing a little bobble stitch fringe situation. I'll show you what it looks like when I get there. But I think for now I'm going to catch up on some YouTube videos for a little bit while I work on this.
managed to finish the shawl on Friday night so way earlier than I needed to. Today is now Sunday. I figured I'd show you how I style it and talk a little bit about it. First of all I did end up adding a little bit of pom-pom trim at the end um, and I did change this so you might see video clips where I was doing it differently. Originally I was attaching the chain from the fringe every other stitch and it was a lot shorter but that was looking a lot too dense for what I wanted and it didn't look as like detailed and frilly. It just looked kind of like pom-pom fringe and you couldn't see the little openings here. So I went back and frogged it and I ended up doing every fourth stitch attaching it and I made the chain a lot longer. So that's how I ended up with this very fun pom-pom fringe. Right now I am actually headed to mass, so I styled it casually as a scarf. I have on a cardigan that I think I got from Kohl's a while ago and an old navy t-shirt dress underneath. This is one that has a pocket and kind of just a brownish orange. It is from at least a year ago, so they probably don't have it anymore. And then I do have leggings on because it's really cold out and black toms is probably what I'm going to wear. With it, I also added some vintage earrings. I'm hoping you can see that, that I got at a thrift store and all of my other normal earrings that I wear. So that's what I'm wearing to mass today, but I'll come back later to show you how I style this for the Oscars party. And this is how I styled it for the Oscars party. So I have a plain back kind of plain black, I can say words. I have a plain black, kind of vintage inspired dress on. It's very much an A-line fit. I'm not tall enough to really show you. Um, but I styled the shawl with pearls. I've got the matching earrings and I did a fancy updo and that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you're interested in seeing this as a written pattern. It should be out sometime this year, but I definitely need to work through some things on it before I can release a written pattern. Also, if you'd be interested in pattern testing, leave a comment below, and if I get enough interest, I'll set up something through Instagram for people to apply to test the pattern. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check me out anywhere else, all that information should be in the description of this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody!